Yeah, what's happened is uh, several American bands have been invited to be in the London New Year's Day Parade and f to create sort of a big finish, a grand finale, so to speak. We've selected uh, seven of them to come together at the end, right next to Parliament Square, and combine to make a big finish. Uh, one band's from Florida, so they're not here. One band's from Arizona. The other five are from the greater Atlanta area, so we thought, well, let's get together ahead of time, give them a chance to get to know each other a little bit, musically and socially, and it'll help it go better once we get over to London. So we're playing uh, combined. There's about 400, a little over 400 players today. There'll be a little over 700 when we do it on January 1st. And we're doing some patriotic music from the United States. Uh, the theme of the parade this year is uh, London, a city on the move. So we're doing Bicycle by Queen and Drive My Car by the Beatles to sort of help celebrate that moving part. And then at the end, we salute the British by doing Rule Britannia, it's almost like their national anthem in a way. So it's going to be fun. This is a tremendous honor uh, to have five bands from Georgia selected to participate in the London New Year's Day Parade is really something special. Um, usually we would have had a break from extra from Tuesday practices, but now we're constantly practicing on Tuesdays as well. So it adds maybe an hour or two to our practice time. We've been working on our music and our performance for the parade since the middle of October. Uh, we ended our competition season early so we could prepare for this wonderful international event. And we're very excited to be a part of it in the school's third year. We just opened three years ago. Um, well, since we really want to be at our best we can possibly be in London, we've been having weekly practices. Um, so we practice on Tuesdays for a couple hours, and then I know all the students have been working really hard, um, you know, at home, getting ready for London, memorizing their music, and learning all their parts. Um, well, I'm hoping London is ready to be entertained. Um, our students here at Lambert, as well as the other schools involved in the grand finale, I know, work extremely hard and are extremely dedicated to the activity, and uh, they're looking forward to entertaining the crowd across the pond in, uh, in, in London, and uh, greatly looking forward to uh, experiencing the London culture as well. Well, being a third year school, we definitely had a lot of overflow from different schools. So being all of being able to come into one Cambridge family has really brought us all together. And then it's a great honor for Georgia. We're in a really, really great state for bands around here. And so it's just just really, really good honor for all of us to be a part of this and being a part of the, the process of being able to go to London. The work for this performance began years ago uh, as they prepped trying to grow and, and get to a high enough quality to even be invited for the parade and that, that work ethic that got them that invitation has continued, maybe even increased from there uh, as they prepare for the, the most special performance of their lives. Well I think all of the bands will bring a great deal of pageantry and precision and hopefully a lot of entertainment with our musical selections and uh, we're just thrilled to be a part of such a long-standing tradition in London and that our students get to experience the history and sights of London while we're there. Oh, it's a great honor. I mean, only the best bands are invited to come and take part. And uh, what is wonderful is that the experience that they have, it's not just about coming just for New Year's Day and performing in the parade, it's about the opportunity for them to come and see some of the culture as well uh, of, of the United Kingdom. thousands of American high school marching bands, but there's only a few that are really top notch. And so the people in London at the organizing office headquarters are always on the lookout for uh, outstanding young ensembles like high schools. And so it's an honor. It's not like something that comes along every day. The only certain people get invited. It costs a lot of money, a lot of time investment. But the thing is, when you get finished with it, then it's all worthwhile. You know, figuring out the cost of it is one thing but the value is something completely different. It's just an amazing experience. So most of these young kids, they're not even aware yet how cool it is that they get to do this, but once they get on the streets of London and people are yelling, God bless America, and thank you for being here, and all that, and we all join in the celebration of the new year, it all turns out to be just a great experience. And then you go home and say, wow, all of my friends who were in band didn't get to do this. Then they realize not only the value of it, but also the honor of it. It's a great thing.